Blues Music Monday is the Break Free Edition with Big Bang's Fantastic Baby. Wow, fantastic baby. Okay, so Blue and Bad Boy were great and vastly different songs. While this is the Big Bang Party Anthem that we've all been waiting for, this song is the one that's gonna get you out of your seats and mule kicking all the bouncers at the clubs like, what? Um, did you just suggest that you would mule kick a bouncer? Maybe. Why, why would you do that? This is what happens when I party. I become a party animal. Can I see your mule kick? No. Now, before we go any further, I need to address the state, which is GD's hair. Number one, nice hot pink. Eh, 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 I did it first. Number two, I feel like the video for Fantastic Baby has allowed me to understand why your hair has gotten to this dreadful point. I think you look like the perfect cartoon villain. You kind of look like Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. I'm not necessarily supposed to find you attractive because you're supposed to be evil and bad. And you have creepy, long, thin, strangly hair, which is supposed to give everybody the chibli jibblies. Supposed to say hibbly jibblies, but then chibli jibblies came out. Yet you still managed to have an aura of bizarre good looks and weird quirky fashion that keeps me from being unable to actually hate your hair. Do I want you to permanently keep your hair like that? 100% no. But I do think it 100% matches your derelict Mad Hatter King look. Just please cut it after this, okay? I know it's kind of like, we'll win in there. It's a pretty mad weave. You're probably like walking around like this because it's so heavy, but once you're done with this phase, let's just... Cut that hair right back down. Okay, glad we had it stock. Okay, so let's explain their looks a bit because I think they're very relevant. At the beginning of the video, GD's hair is unruly and crazy long, and his makeup is dirtily smudged as if he's been just withering away and trapped in this place for a very long time. But after his people rise up and rebel, GD is bandaged up from the battle scars, but his hair and makeup are shorter and cleaner. And we see the same thing happen to the rest of the members. Taeyang defrosts to reveal tattoos that say alive, a chained up Daesung break free from his personal constraints, Top leaves the confines of his picture frames and regains his throne, and Sungri gets women to wear pleather and, and meow at him because that too is relevant. I tried. And then I'll break free of the chains since I was really the only one holding myself back. Daesung man, that's beautiful bro. What about you Sungri? Well, GD, I'm glad you asked. I picture myself surrounded by a sexy harem of girls dressed up like cat ladies, and I'm all covered in sexy scratches because, because they, you know, well, I mean, I'm, well, I'm slightly allergic to cats. Like, it would get all, like, swollen and, and itchy. It would be uncomfortable. It, it would just... Damn, why don't you put on a shirt, man? You, you didn't have a shirt on, man. I think we were digging on me. I just want to see a cat ladies. <laughs> Seriously, Taeyang, it's time for you to put on some clothes. Everybody likes to say how GD is the most fashionable icon out there because of all the awesome clothes that he wears. You clearly, though, are the least fashionable person in K-pop since you never wear any clothes. I mean, look at that first frost scene. You thaw all that ice off of your body, but none of that would have been necessary if you tried putting on something called a shirt. You should check them out sometimes. They're really quite cool. It's only like one of the first three breakthroughs in the history of mankind. Right up there with fire and wheel. You know, I'm starting to feel a little bit bad for Taeyang now that I made fun of him. I mean, look at him. He's at least trying to put on some clothes, but accidentally puts his arm in the rain gutter and gets stuck. It's okay, Taeyang. I'll let you borrow one of my shirts. Here, Taeyang, I got an extra Viva La Spudgy shirt for you. No, it's okay. You don't have to thank me. Just, I know that you're really low on shirts. Make sure you wear this for all of your concerts and your commercials from now on. No, no, no. Don't fight it. I'm here to help. Inji Kimchi, clothing the K-pop star since forever. So the basic plot of this video is to not hold back, just to let yourself go, just to dance and be yourself. Big Bang, you say that now, but you might regret it if you invite us to your super cool dance party. It seems that the Don't Dance Police, the lamest police force on the planet, most likely sponsored by the Council of Bad Everything Remotely Sexy, are fighting against the people GD has riled up. Having broken out of his prison, GD looks all cocky and cool sitting on his throne, which is resting on a junk pile. And what I think is a very cool detail are the up letters below him that say ACT, which could either mean literally act, like act out, or which could also make up the word fantastic, which later on in the video, once everyone's been freed from the riot police, we see up on the walls behind them with the same kind of style of like metal letter. I thought that was kind of a, a cool detail. I don't know if it was 
Played or not, but I liked it. Now, we love the whole Boom Shakalaka. You see, I grew up playing NBA Jam, and Boom Shakalaka is a part of my common vocabulary as a kid. And a little bit as an adult, too. Hearing it now, sounding like it's booming from a thunder god in the clouds, is bloody perfect. But that whole, wow, fantastic baby, is becoming dangerously overused in our house. Wow. Fantastic baby. Dance. Na, 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 na. I wanna dance, 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 Because we need to go on a diet. Why? Because we've been eating too much bad foods. Why? Because people mail us candies all the time. T A R T. Why? You raise a very good point. But a big complaint we have with this video is top. And it's not just me, so don't call me anti top or anything because Martina agrees with me on this as well. I don't know if he's going for an image change or if he's just not into it, but top's presence in the last few videos just seems really uncomfortable. There is a way to be both smooth and passionate, which he perfectly nailed for Turn It Up and Buggy Gayo. But we feel like he's really changing his image lately and it just doesn't seem like he's that passionate in his videos anymore. Now, I seriously love, 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 love the scene with him posing in the photo frames. It was just a really unique concept and he looks like a super regal, confident, like Mr. Freeze in like portrait format. And it's awesome, but it doesn't really seem to like match the feel of the song in the video. I mean, okay, we get it. If you look at the lyrics, he's supposed to be kind of indifferent and arrogant and cocky during that scene and it matches really well. But at the end of the video, everyone's finally like broken loose and everyone's like getting down and dirty, but top still kind of in that like posing stage. And I just feel like he really was lacking some bombast. I mean, he has one of the most badass, wild, shout your face off lines in K-pop. Boom shakalaka! And what does he do? He just looks at the camera, barely moving his lips, and he's like, boom shakalaka. He actually looks like he's bored or like not happy with it. Top should have a megaphone up to his mouth. He should be shouting, boom shakalaka, and it should come out in like an anime shockwave, which like destroys the riot police. Is that too much to ask? A sound wave coming out of Top's mouth in anime format to destroy the anti-dance police? I mean, was anyone else disappointed with that or was it just us? Now I've said so much negative, I wanna end with something positive. Oh Top, only you could look good in French pantaloons. <laughs> As for the English of the song, we give this a 5 out of 5. Besides the chorus, which is all in English, there are a few phrases here and there in the song which are perfectly fine as well. Now, I know some of you are going to disagree with me, especially when Sungri says, Mama, just let me be your lover. But to me, it clearly suggests he's saying like, Mama Sita, as in like, you're a hot mama, rather than suggesting an incestuous relationship with his mother. Wow, fantastic, baby. Well, not that fantastic. Also, they songs, I can't, baby, don't stop this. I'm taking that as two different sentences rather than one long confusing one so unless I'm missing something else here five out of five last week we asked you who was better at being bad big bang and bad boy or miss a and bad girl good girl and the winner was very clearly big bang like by over 2,000 votes that's okay, I was actually voting for you, Miss A. I saw the way Gio was all like, is that a notebook? And slapped it out of that guy's hand. And then Min or, or someone else was just like, is this your book? And just like stepped on it with their little heels. That was really bad. For this week's Break Free Edition, we asked you which jailbreak you preferred. Big Bangs and Fantastic Baby. Or DVXQ's and Marotic. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one, isn't it? 
Leave your votes in the comments or in our Facebook poll and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, thanks to all the VIPs who voted in Big Bang for three weeks in a row. Yay! If there's a video you want to see for next Music Monday, head on over to ichikimchi.com slash kpop charts and get voting! I heard Bilasa and Shiny are making comebacks soon. They better. Bilasa Raptors, you better get together. Lastly, don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away, Spudgy. What dance is it gonna do?